Hi guys, this is Backlight97 and I'm back with a figure of you. And if you haven't guessed already, it's the Batman Arkham Asylum Play Arts Kai action figure. It's the number three Batman armoured figure. And of course you can see that he's not in here. Nor are any of the uh, other pieces that come with the figure. And nor is the backdrop. Because I have took them out to do this review. So, let's just turn this box to the side, and you can see a really, really nice picture of Batman there in the parts of Gotham. It's either Gotham or Arkham, it's one of those. And then you've got the pictures of him being posed, and then, of course, the Harley Quinn figure, which uh, is pretty cool looking. And then more of... It, I think that, that one's definitely Arkham Asylum. So, um, let's move that out of the way. And you've got this really, really cool backdrop, which I'm going to use for most of my... Reviews, I think, hopefully, if I get to fit the uh, the shape of <coughs> where it is. And here is the figure. Now, I didn't know I was getting this figure, to be honest, um, until I opened it up this morning. And it is so cool. I have watched a few reviews of this figure um, because, you know, I I'd looked at them, uh, a few times and I was going to pick up the regular Arkham... City Asylum figures, and this figure is so cool. But the price of them, you know, if you were buying more than one of these figures, you know, you're looking at over a hundred pounds, dollars, whatever. And it's just so worth the money. They are really, really awesome. The articulation on the figures is fantastic. The detail is just epic. It comes with a couple of accessories, which, you know, is always a bonus with these sorts of figures. And he's just, just awesome. It's just like a figure that, if you're a Batman fan or an Arkham Asylum fan, then you need to have one of these in your collection. Now, it's very rare that you'll see these in, like, regular shops. You'll see those mainly in comic book shops or online. And, um... Yeah, places do have them, but I think they're kind of like having the Arkham City ones in now, so these ones have kind of, you know, they're going out of the public eye, I suppose, in terms of people picking them up and actually buying them. So, the head sculpt is perfect. Um, if I just bring this closer, as you can see, look, there is some really, really nice details on that face which makes it look really, really cool. They've got this bat signal, which is different to the Arkham City one. It is the Arkham Asylum uh, bat symbol on his chest. All the different armour platelets on his chest as well. Um, nice belt. That's really, really cool. Some strange looking capsules, and then, of course, the regular little pouches. Then he's got armoured uh, <coughs> crotch platelets. Armoured platelets on his legs, and then all the way down to the boots. He also has these really, really cool gauntlets and these weird sort of platelets on his uh, gloves. Then he has the back claw, which is, you know, like the grapple gun sort of thing. The cape has been really, really nicely sculpted into this figure. Um, although it is a separate piece, it has sort of blended in well. Uh, let's just take a look at the boots again. But yeah, the detail on this figure is really, really awesome. Uh, they haven't really gone... They haven't really, really left anything out, I don't think. Because you, you don't get the armoured Batman suit until the end of the game. When you've completed the game, beaten the game, you unlock it to using the challenge mode. And then, of course, the armoured edition Batman video game uh, for the Wii U has just come out. And this is kind of how it looks on there as well. Apart from the bat symbol, they've changed that. So, if I just take this out of the hand, this is the grapple gun slash back claw gun from the game. And this is just a regular back claw, because you can get the triple barrel back claw thingy um, with the other Batman figure, which is just a regular Batman. Which I kind of thought it'd be the other way around, they do it, but, you know, I kind of prefer this one. It is bent a bit, which is weird. They have changed it slightly. The handle on it was kind of just straight, I think. Unless that's how it was. This is how it was in Arkham Asylum compared to Arkham City. Because I think that's it does look different in Arkham, um, Arkham City. Uh. The claw, if I'm wrong, then please tell me. But it doesn't seem to be removable. I'm not going to try it too much. Because um, 
of how flimsy it's likely to be. But they've really, really sculpted that nicely. It does look like Batman's gadget. Um, and they have sculpted the hand nicely for it to fit that. They've also given you a Batarang, which looks fantastic. It doesn't fold. Looks like it could, but it doesn't. But, um, yeah, even even if it, you know, it doesn't go in his hand very well, which it doesn't. I mean, it does that. Um, it's just nice to have as a little display piece anyway. I might try and make a little stand for this next to the figure and kind of have it there floating in midair. But, um, yeah, it does kind of fit in his hand. Holds it a bit like a gun as well, which looks okay. If you were... Uh, um, going to try, you do have this other hand, and you could probably just slip slip it into the that part there, and it looks like it's kind of been thrown, I suppose. Which that looks alright, but it's a nice little accessory. It does it would fit in the hand quite nicely like that, but it just kind of drops out. So yeah, it does come with in total four hands, which are easily removable. And then you can put them on pretty easily as well. They're all sculpted pretty nice. You get two fists, and then you get an open hand, an open left hand, and then like a gun-shaped right hand, which is the one I'm using now. So let's take a look at the figure's articulation. So he does have a ball-jointed head at the top, and then he has another sort of ball joint here, so that can move up and down. He has waist articulation and sort of upper uh, chest articulation as well. His arms do that weird thing where they move out the sides. i just move this out the way. And it kind of does that weird thing where it moves forward. Then they can go forwards and backwards as well as up and down pretty well. Then there is a swivel here at the top of the arm. Mine doesn't move very well. Bend at the elbow. Then there's a weird ball joint here. It can go forward and backward, and then it will be able to go up and down if you move it around. And then there's a swivel in the <coughs> the wrist as well. The legs do go forwards and backwards. They do also move side to side. And then there's a swivel as well, but it doesn't want to move yet. This is loose, so you've got more movement. Then there's this weird bend that all the Kyotes figures have where it bends there and there. And then there's also a bend in the foot and a swivel and it's kind of that weird ball joint like the uh, wrists. And then you've got the same ball joint thing in the cape so it can move side to side, open like that, and then move backwards also. So there's loads of articulation in this figure. Done really, really nicely. The sculpting even on the back is pretty good. And the cape is in two parts, so you can kind of have it, you know, open or closed, sort of thing. Which is a really, really nice touch. Yeah, I am really, really, really happy with these, this figure. It's fantastically sculpted. It's just really awesome. Um, definitely pick one up. I think they're about, what, fifty-four ninety-nine. Um, can go for more, I think, which is a bit weird. But, um, you know, they're definitely worth, worth picking up, whichever price, I suppose. So uh, definitely check these out. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, please leave a comment on what you think of this figure. I personally think it's awesome. But do you have any other thoughts? Have you got one and not liked it at all because of the weird detailing? And please tell me your thoughts on the Joker in these figures. I have not really seen one. Um, but if you've got one and you don't think it's that good, just let me know. Because from what I've seen, he looks kind of warped. He looks a bit odd. I mean, I know Kai Arts like to alter their figures so they look kind of their own, but from what I've seen, I'm not not keen yet. So, uh, thanks for watching. Please check out my other reviews, and uh, if you haven't already, please like this video, and uh, subscribe to be notified of any of my other videos. There'll be plenty more Batman videos, Marvel videos coming up on uh, very soon, so stay tuned for those, and uh, see you soon. Bye!